Hi Cancers, I hope that you guys are well. I love you so much, okay? Coming from a fellow Cancerian, I love you a lot. I have a message for you that I got from the cards last week. Um, I did not record a video because I was just shuffling, you know, asking some questions. But then, in the middle of the reading, I began to notice that the message is very powerful. So powerful. It was so well channeled. So powerful. It might sound a bit incredible. I'm going to try to remember the entire message because um, sometimes while you, where I'm receiving messages, I'm seeing it as it is in the present. And so if I go back to look at it another time, I might not remember what it was saying because I'm so in the, in the present. So sometimes just only feeling through a message. But um, yeah, it was so powerful I decided to keep it with me so that I can share it with you. I realized that, you know, <laughs> most of my, my readings, um, I find them being said across many other tarot channels and I'm you know blown away by that it is incredible i find so i know that this is something i love to do and it, it is a part of me is to channel and to interpret cards i know that it is a part of me it is something that i feel professional about in myself um and the things that okay let me get to the message so because it's kind of a long message but i'm going to summarize it as best as i can it started out, so the question I asked was, what is blocking cancer from taking that step necessary for success and prosperity? Because I am aware that most Cancerians are transitioning um, maybe into their independence for the first time or removing blockages of self-worth, you know, um, so they can even, they can ask for greater things in life. Some of us might just be stuck in the home, but there's a dream somewhere inside of us and we want more, I, I realize, right? Um, so I asked the question of the cards, what is that block? What can cancers do right now to clear away certain negative blockages, blockages, ideas, beliefs, you know, negative energies? So as I was reading, I realized that... Um, I can't remember the first part of the reading exactly because as I said it was as I was reading in the middle part of the reading I began noticing the power of it so it came down to all Cancerians right now are very very powerful as the fourth house connected to the heart chakra and thinking of 5d the fifth dimension thinking of the world that we want to create going forward I was getting a message that cancerians would be the ignited leaders going forward and that it is time to really power up in your power in the cancerian power to move forward the way that the world is heading now we need a lot of love and nurturing all of that queen of cups energy that the cancerian brings to life that is what we need to move forward because looking at the state of the world now we can see that she has been or all of us have been some neglected in many ways living in a diseased world filled of hate and filled with hate and violence to some extent at least where i grew up i saw a lot of terrible things traumas not only for me but for it was common in our society or and still is and that is why we are in sort of a tumble in the world now with this pandemic <clears throat> i mean pandemic um crisis we're going to see that cancerians need to step into their heart remember that cancerian is the fourth zodiac sign right and um the heart chakra where we need to live from which we need to follow and be led by that is our house the heart chakra you know is, is a place of intellect in, in knowing who we are what causes us to take that step without even 
questioning or doubting anything. And so that's how I believe cancerians relate powerfully to the to the outcome of the planet in this time. I don't really have to explain the qualities of a cancerian, but if you're listening and you don't know, cancerians are like mothers, entrepreneurs, leaders, intuitives, healers, powerhouses, intellects, musicians, artists, um, builders, create, you know, creativity, fertility, productivity, cancerians, not undermining any other sign, right? Everyone has their power. And that leads me to the next point, which I was realizing in the reading, which is also very important because as this light is being shined or shone on cancer, a lot of other signs might feel a bit envious and I was likening it to a family situation. Literally, I was picking this up in my reading that imagine if a mother who is like, a, I just let me use this, like say the mother, she's wise, she knows magic and all these things. So she's like a godmother or something and she has many children, but she knows that one of her child needs to step up now to lead because it is up to that child to really lead all of us she believes it's up to this child to lead all of us into the next phase that child might not know it so she has to give that child extra attention to push that child and prompt that child into and it might not be always positive i'm just picking up now that the prompting which this mother might prompt that child into living into its acting with its purpose might not always be positive i'm realizing so if you find that you grew up in a, in a negative family situation, I feel you. Um, especially if you were the black sheep of the family. Um, I don't want to sound insensitive by saying it was, it's all for a reason. It's, it's, and, and you need to look at your life, where you are now, the things that you believe in, the power that you are exhibiting, um, and see how it is related to what the pain and the trauma that you did I have to go through as a child to be where you are now so it's like even though it was negative or still is negative look at how it can lead you out of that darkness and to see that it was all to kind of bring you into your power okay so back to the message so um because that mother is giving that child maybe extra attention and sometimes the child is not even trying literally it's just like a light is emanating out of that chosen one right and so there's attention coming to that child she don't know why or he doesn't know why the other the other siblings in the house start to feel envious they don't know why it's just like this person is getting a lot of love and you know i'm over here like where's my light it's not all the um all the siblings that will be envious, of course, some will love you so much, you know, in their own way that want to push you forward in their own way, you know, because everyone relate to one another differently. And so you might find just a lot of opposition, you know, because light attracts what is dark, you know, or what is dark or in the darkness is attracted to light, you know. That's how it is. A moth is attracted to light. It will always go toward that light. Um, so if, you're, if you find yourself being faced with torment mentally, mental torment of thoughts, of reliving a past pain, of even manifesting and re-manifesting similar relationships that are kind of karmic in cycle, it, you need to wake up now and realize that it was for a reason to bring out your power and to look at what you're good at doing. Look at how you can master your craft. You know, look at how you can give yourself more respect. Give yourself respect, self-love. Big up yourself, you know. Nurture yourself mentally. Do what you have to, right? I know sometimes we make attempts to be better and then on the third day we give up but who is going to be your cheerleader if not for yourself you have to create that inner voice in you that prompts you 
you have to be the one to create that inner voice. You're your own cheerleader that say, hey, what you do? Get up. <laughs> Remember, it don't even have to be a hard, um, insensitive voice. It can be something loving like, I know you're tired. You know, because it's good to have understanding and, and compassion for yourself. I know you're tired. I know how you feel. I know you feel like this is not working out. But believe me, and I know that you know it deep down, that once you get through this day doing the thing that you said you're going to do, so having integrity, being disciplined, you will feel better tomorrow. And you know it. And I promise you, I will be here with you. So even if you feel halfway, I, I will applaud you for getting up and trying. That is showing me love. That is showing all of us love. You know, so get up and try the universe is with you that is another message that you're being guided and protected there were a lot of sevens sevens connected to the angelic realm in the reading and um so even though you will find some opposition on your path mentally and so on you will always see a light there is always going to be a glimmer of something to remind you that you're not alone okay i feel now that a lot of Cancerians might have gone through depression, but it's over. It is com it's complete, especially if you let it be. By taking that breath that will awaken you to realizing I am still present. I am still here. I, I must be so strong. I know I'm often classified as soft, but look at my outer shell. I know how... To defend myself i know defense i am a crab you know i know land and water i know the stars i'm connected to the angelic realm yes strong up yourself you know no find help where it is because there's always guidance so even if you have to use your two fingers then we'll probably feel so tired and go search the internet go ahead and search and some just that act believe me that movement it's called momentum. You just taking the, the shot at searching for something is that momentum beginning to propel you. And if you're in a if your vibration begins to rise, then you realize that you will find something that helps you. Even something that you probably something so auspicious you something probably that just made you laugh. You know what I'm saying? That's how the universe works with you. At its best sometimes read a book you know be inspired okay so yeah so those are um i got an important message about i think the um it's it's saying do what you love to do the message i think a lot of us are musicians so i'm, I'm going to cut this part a bit short even though it was really drawn out during the reading but i feel like somebody likes to play the guitar and um there's there's a specific message to say that there's a voice for your guitar you know <laughs> there's a there's a voice for your for your guitar or there's a guitar for your voice so if you're if you're a musician i think and it's also it's time to really go in hermit mode because hermit where hermit is a crab and cancerians are crabs you know, we need to some cut people off that are distractions and situations that are heavy distractions um, and go into ourselves and work on our crafts. So I saw a musician literally in his apartment or something like that, just by in his um, looking at his laptop, making music and he was happy but, and he was in the kind of in the dark alone, just chilling, vibing, doing some music and he was so happy. I could have felt it in him, you know. I think he even watched something on the laptop that made him laugh out loud while he was working. So sometimes it's okay to go in to yourself and just just work on yourself, man. Make your best of yourself. Come out. You know, always need people around you. Um, because um, the opposition I was mentioning might come in, in forms of, you know, you did something and no one gave you, you know, no one kind of praised you for it, even though you know it was beautiful. And it might kind of dishearten you and make you want to stop. 
you don't need that energy around you or someone might directly make a negative comment about what you're working on you don't need that either so it's it's wonderful if you can find that alone place that is still home in yourself and just give you just give that like attention to yourself and once you get to do know how that really feels to be giving yourself attention laughing with yourself just being joyous looking forward to the night with yourself the next morning you and your smoothie or your coffee or your tea just you working on your craft can Syrian. yes 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 the music was a huge part because i was saying that um Cancerians are very intuitive. We pick up a lot of what is going on in the atmosphere. And so I was saying we have to keep, um, I was saying that there's a lot of energy in the atmosphere from, from people that died, basically, you know, and the first two, you know, people that were influential in our society. And I mentioned like Nelson Mandela. I mentioned Martin Luther King. I started mentioning musicians. And then as soon as I said Bob Marley, a card flipped out because I was, you know, shuffling while I was talking. So as soon as I said Bob Marley, I got a card. I don't remember which one. Oh, it was the four of, four of clubs. And then I, I went on immediately. I was like Bob Marley, Nina Simone, Amy Winehouse. And then as soon as I said Amy Winehouse, another card flipped out, and then I continued with names, but no, no other card came out. So I realized that the energy of Bob Marley and Amy Winehouse is very powerful right now. So if you're looking for like inspiration for music, listen to some authentic Bob Marley music, Bob Marley songs, because as as I was saying, the Earth is needing love, right? And Bob Marley is. A musician that sings about a lot of love and natural in his naturalness you know so look if you don't know Bob Marley look him up okay and get to know his music you might find a lot of inspiration there Amy Winehouse is beautiful for some reason I got a massive download about Amy Winehouse it was just out of the blue me I wonder where this <laughs> where did this come from <laughs> But um, I was feeling her, a lot of her energy. She's, um, and I think that's, I don't know if I've done this that, that before. But um, she was, she's basically, she's not, she's not overly sad. I think she hasn't forgiven quite yet. Why am I doing this? Anyway, you don't need to hear all of that message. But just know that. If you are inspired by her, she's really feeding you. Like I don't know, how, I don't want to say feeding you, but I feel like she's walk, she's dropping nuggets, you know, because she's she loves music in her soul, so she isn't giving up on music. I think maybe it's her messages, or you might just see nuggets of some inspiration of Amy Winehouse just being dropped. Just imagine if it's dropped from the angelic realm. She's doing it on purpose, so I don't know. Oh my god so well yeah i thought that was really nice it just flew out and that that really um attached itself to the musician and the voice but marley's a guitarist amy winehouse is a singer oh my gosh right um yes so yeah if you do music follow your passion and sing music of love express yourself just like how amy winehouse really express herself in music freely you know express yourself don't be hidden even though there might be opposition authenticity is very very important we, we might find that people want to clone us or get us to look like everyone else but you know be similar to bob marley and amy winehouse who stuck to their truth their genuine, their originality, um, you know, in just how they put across their art. I think that's that's all. Them all. The, that's I think that's all. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So it's really just saying, Cancerians, buckle up because the earth needs you right now. Yeah, get guidance from a lot of people around you right now. 
if you're in a one state or you know feel a lot of love know that we the earth sees you as valuable and you're being guided into transforming the world and taking it to you know having that vision that power to influence people as well to help the world to transform itself into a place of love and greatness i love listen to bob marley a place of love um, just envision the world that you'd love to create and put it across in the world in whatever art form you do especially music i think the world needs a lot more musicians we may think that there are a lot of musicians out now but i'm imagining a world with several like i see maybe several million more musicians coming out fresh that are doing a dif different things that are taking the world into a different place yes so don't think oh my god there is no space for me in music I, I think in a few years the music is going to change radically or drastically beautiful going forward yes oh with the old in with the new yes yes okay that is my message know your value you are valuable take it from me if you've never heard it before and you know too i believe that you know you're highly valuable um <laughs> please be brave and um you know just be courageous to lead from your heart be courageous meaning don't let the way how people taught you how to be meaning the way how your family might have treated you don't let that deter you from being who you truly are, from having a divine connection with a higher sense of value within yourself. Who you present to be. Um, right? Thank you so much for listening. I hope that this message resonated with you. If you really listen to this point, I just have to say it's nice to meet you <laughs> thank you for listening that's wonderful <laughs> that you'd come this far i'm amazed actually that's why i keep talking haha <laughs> that you'd actually listen this far but it was a powerful message so i really i really really had to share it remember that if you have any questions whatsoever about me let me know in the comments section or check the description box for any other details you can find there and until next time make sure to say you take care of yourself right much love